We have so much work that we've got to do today. What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today, we have got to get some work done. Oh yeah. So we have so, so much that we've got to get done. I'm going to go in here first off just to take a look and see what our fertilization is looking like. Oh, did we not lime that? Oh no. I forgot to put lime down. It's okay. We will do it. We'll be able to take care of it. So we've got to put lime on two fields now, not just one. And I've got about 216,000 liters of straw here left over. We've already filled up our main silo. However, we've got to get some, we've got plenty more. So we're going to get this sold. Please tell me I went the right way. Okay, I was about to say, don't tell me, don't tell me. It's easy to go the wrong way on this map. So yes, we have that to do. We've got to get lime down. Then we've got to plow. We've got to plow one field. Just one field, thank goodness. But still, we've got to get one field plowed. Then we've got to get it planted. Now, I have made some modifications and alterations to the big Hatsabickler 18 meter planter cedar thing. Yeah, the TH18, I believe is what it's called. So I made some modifications to that. So we're going to make sure and we'll just see if those work. Uh, we've taken it from like 20,000 kilograms or something crazy and, and now it weighs like 2,500. So that's kind of cool. So hopefully it'll go faster up the hills. I did not do any modifications at all to the seed tender for it. Only modifications to the cedar itself. Hopefully that worked. I'm, it seems like it did. It flew up in the air a little bit easier than it normally does going over bumps. So that is good. Let's see. Make a little bit extra cash on this. It's not much. Really is not. Well, $21,000. Hey, that's more than zero. I will take that. Let's get this taken back over to wherever it's going to go. We just need to put it away. We're not going to need it for now. We're going to do a grass and soybean harvest coming up very soon, probably in about a day or two's time. This, this is going away. I need to go get the plow, put it on the back of here. I figured while we're over here, we've got lime loaded up in the small New Holland. So I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and throw some lime on here since we've got to get this field done anyway. Now this is not modded in any way, shape or form. This is the Coon mod, however. So this is a mod of sorts, but it is not a modded thing. I feel like I have to say that now when I use stuff that's in game like, yeah, you know, and it doesn't go a bajillion miles an hour like pretty much everything else I've got. Sorry. <laughs> or however DJ would say it. Yo, are we even going to be able to make it around the first headland with this thing? I know it doesn't hold much, but good goodness gracious. You know what would be cool? Check this out. I know you're probably thinking, we'll just get a bigger tank. Well, I've got a mod that it's, it's a bigger tank. I could do that fine. What if we had some type of tank we could put on the front and it would transfer lime to the back so we need a tank that would hold like solid fertilizer i think would be a uh something that would work but would that not be cool i think that would be awesome oh we're almost out too <laughs> go 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 thing is the faster you go the faster you use it as well so those larger mods that i've got it uses it up real real fast okay well there's the uh first put down let's head over to our silo fill this thing back up assuming that we've got some left as a matter of fact you know what i've got an idea yeah twenty-seven thousand more liters we're good to go oh <laughs> it's a little back heavy on this thing maybe we should have gotten the front weight and we'll be okay. So my idea was this. See, I'm thinking like, okay, fertilizer technology. What if we just put two of these, one on the front, one on the back? And I was like, well, that's kind of silly. What if we got something that holds seeds or fertilizer? Well, can't really use the coon for that now, can you? So I was like going through and thinking, well, no, none of that works. What about in planters? We've got this stuff right here. This holds seeds. And then this right here holds seeds or fertilizer, but it won't do lime. That was my idea, was to put lime in that and it just hold it. Now there's a couple other things, I believe in like auger wagons. Why was I trying to hire a worker? That is not it. Uh, there's a couple things there, but unfortunately nothing that would do what we wanted to do, which is kind of stinky, but it is what it is. 
it's fine. It's you know we're 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 kind of asking more out of the game than than it's really meant to do, which is on par for us at least. <laughs> So that's good. Uh, of course, we would have $169,000 right now, wouldn't we? My goodness. All right. Headland is done. Boom. Got it. Now what I want to do is I think we can do this in like two or three passes. Uh, I know we've got some in here, but I really want to try my best not to use it. What I really want to do is get this straightened up. Boom. Got it. All right. Let's get this lined up. Let's hire a worker. I believe worker buy seed and fertilizers turned on. Oh, that's right. So the worker will not do lime if there's a crop in the ground. I totally forgot about that. So we are stuck doing this entire job all by ourselves. No! And there we've run out of lime yet again. And we're filling it up once again. Kind of the nice thing about this is all we have to do is line up our tracks with the last time we were here. And then turn it on. It's like we never even stopped. I love it. I think we can get the rest of this in one pass. Maybe, eh, maybe a little bit more than one pass. Let's boom out just so we can see what we're doing here. Boom, got that. This is the field we were supposed to lime, right? Well, we could probably check. Yes, okay, yeah, this was the, uh, was the field we were supposed to lime. All good. So it looks like we're done with fertilization in all these. All this is fertilized. 26 still needs to be fertilized. 44 needs to be fertilized. 45, unfortunately, needs everything. And that's where we're headed to next. Fortunately for us, where we're headed to next, we have the big Amazon lime spreader, or fertilizer spreader, rather. And, uh, yeah, it holds 100,000 liters. Let's go off-roaded! <laughs> Here's the weight. That's the weight we should have been using on the other thing. All right, let's pull right in. I've got things kind of situated all around right now. So we've got tractors on the left, tractors on the right. Um, let's see, this one right here, that is our plow. We have our planter over there. And of course our harvester is still here from harvest, but that's gonna have to be moved as well. Actually, you know what? It doesn't technically have to be moved. It's fine where it's at. We've just got to get it out of the way. It's fine. It, it's, it's okay where it's at. So let's get this done. And we're going to have to come through and get the plow on it as well. I think what I'm going to do is hit a headland and maybe hit a worker on this instead of doing this all ourselves because that is going to take forever. I know I said it was going to take forever. And I'm also missing some spots here. But I just finished the headland. And I realized I could get the rest of this done in like two passes. So instead of trying to hire a worker and watch them go, Helper Dummy is finished. No, they're not. Mm -mm, Helper Dummy needs to get back to work. That's exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to finish this myself and then we're going to come through and do plowing. However, with the plowing, I very likely will hire a worker for that. Now for the plowing. Let's go in and double check and make sure this is what we need to do next. So plowing and then after that, doesn't need anything. Does need a little bit of lime here and there. I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm just gonna get this done. Again, we are using our modded horse plow. I do love this plow. We can go as fast as we want. We stick it on here. We can go that full 39 miles per hour, which I believe this goes about 42 miles per hour full speed, which is really cool. This is really, really cool. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit two headlands ourselves. And then we're going to hire a worker, let the worker do their thing. But after those two headlands, I think we're going to jump in the planter and maybe try and get some planting done. Cedar. God damn. Rabble. Why, why, do, why do they got to be different things? They used to all be planters or cedars. They used to all be something, and now they're all different things. It's weird. It's kind of weird. It's not that weird. Makes sense. Moving on. So here's how I'm going to get this side of here straightened out. What I'm going to do is we're gonna try to get lined up as best we can with the end over here. Then I'm gonna hire a worker. They're gonna make a completely straight edge. All right there, that'll work, hire a worker. Now, what we're just gonna do is we're gonna go back and forth, up and down. When I say up and down, I'm gonna start at the top every single time. We're gonna try and get this straightened out. I think uh, maybe two more times to get this completely straightened out. So there's one. I'm going to jump in. I am going to drive on the left side as well. I'm not going to drive on the plowed side because over here, there's not a whole lot of bumps. Over here, you can see the tractor is just more swaying back and forth. I am turning a little bit, but 
vehicles, tractors, everything in the game drives just a little bit better on ground that's either been planted uh, or harvested or cultivated even. Cultivated even. But plowed area, woo, it is tough on a tractor. It is tough on any vehicle. All right, let's get this line back up. Hire a worker. Let them go down here through us. Now, you guys could do this too at home. Of course, may not be able to go as fast as this little thing can, but that's just to help us in uh, getting a lot more work done a lot faster. That's, that's one of the main reasons I use mods that go super, super fast, or, or I edit things to go faster. Tell you what, you run out of time in the day, especially with two full-time jobs. Uh, most of you guys know I am a real DJ, uh, and I am a YouTuber, obviously. It's, it's kind of funny convincing people in the DJ world that I'm a YouTuber and convincing people in the YouTube world that I'm a DJ. <laughs> but uh, I think in about a year or so, we're going to be making the move over to YouTube completely. So I will no longer be DJ... Go well, I am DJ Goham, I always will be, but... I will no longer be uh, DJ, my DJ name. <laughs> I'm not going to say what it is so you guys can't find me. But there you go. Ooh, some of you already know, probably. Actually, I think I've mentioned it quite a few times. I've worn my DJ hat. I've got uh, DJ merchandise as well. I've done some, uh, done some merchandise stuff. There we go. I think we can hire this worker and be completely fine right here. We're going to follow them until they get to the end, just in case. But I think we'll be good here. So... That's kind of the game plan in about a year, so maybe May of 2020, um, we may go full-time or, or very close to full-time. Uh, when you guys are seeing this, it is in the middle of the busy season for me with DJing. They would July 4th here in the States is a crazy busy time, and it's really tough to be able to, to get everything done. I remember last year, uh, 2018, my first year doing YouTube, it was almost impossible to get everything done that I needed to do. Matter of fact, I'm recording this on June, uh, July 3rd, the day before the 4th, uh, just so I can get enough videos in because, again, I'm going to be out of town. But by the time you guys see this, I'll be back in town, or at least I'll be heading back in. So there you go. There's uh, plowing and uh, what's up with DJ. Moving on. Now that plowing is done, we need to jump in and go and get some stuff planted. Here, I'm going to attempt to hit two headlands and then, actually, you know what? <laughs> Are we ready? I haven't even looked down here. Does this need anything else? It has been plowed and it needs nothing. Finally, I feel like I've been on this field for hours. We are going to be planting soybeans. Reason for it, I just want to get a big soybean harvest. I want a lot of money. So let's take this. Drop, drop it. Please, please drop. There we go. Have the wrong thing selected. And turn it on. Now, of course, I said I've made this way a little bit less, so hopefully we won't have the same issues going uphill. Unfortunately, the uh, seed tender itself, or the, uh, the the part that holds the seed, the fertilizer, it has not been edited or fiddled with in any way, shape, or form. So that leads me to think, well, are we going to get enough power? Because let's be honest, this thing, which can go faster, which I have messed with and meddled with, on the back of 600 plus horsepower. It's, this should be able to go. Now we're going 14, it's not terrible. But are we gonna slow down when we get to the top of the hill? That's gonna be the, that's gonna be the thing. Nope, 13, 12, 11. Oh yeah, yeah, we're gonna slow down. I wonder, I keep saying it, but I wonder if we had something with wheels. I wonder if we had just like a big, uh, big New Holland or something, something like that, something large that would work. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? Really makes you wonder. I, t <laughs> I tell you what, if and when Welker Farms ever comes out, this is going to be the thing. By the way, again, I, Welker Farms has not been released yet. Hopefully by the time you guys see this, it has. If it has, drop a hashtag Welkers in the chat if it hasn't. Do I uh, rip, hashtag rip walkers in the chat? I, I don't know. <laughs> there we go. All right. There we go. Okay, so we finished the top part right there. Ooh, a little bit left to plow. I think that'll be okay. And uh, we're rocking here at about 14 miles per hour. This is good. This is, oh yeah, we're speeding up. So this has made it at least for flat ground and non-up or down, I guess. 
because we're both technically right now. This has made it a little bit easier for this guy to work. Cool. All right. Let's finish up here. Let's get this part done, at least the headlands. Let's toss a worker on because there's a couple more things that we need to do around the farm. Next up, we are going to put together some TMR for our cows. Now, of course, we have about 338,000 liters left, so we're going to put together 300,000 liters. Now, of course, you guys know we do a five-part system. Two parts straw, two parts hay. Or no, <laughs> not straw. Don't listen to that. Two parts hay, two parts silage, one part straw. There we go. That is what I do. I do a five part system. So at 300,000 liters. So what we need is 120,000 liters of hay and silage and 60,000 liters of straw. So let's go in here. Hey, we need 120,000 liters. Coming up on it now, boom, right there, 64, <laughs> 64 liters over. Hey, I'll take that. Now, we need to fill it up with another 120,000 liters of silage. There's 100, oh, I'm five liters over, that's awesome. Now, we just need to toss another 60,000 liters of straw in here, boom. This is going to top us up to 300,000 liters, which is exactly where we want to be, and we will have more or less a perfect total mixed ration. I'm going to pull up the mixing ratio here so you can check it out. There it is right there. Oh, almost. <laughs> we barely have, well, we don't have 300,000 yet, but we've got a pretty good mix right there. More or less, if you're rounding 40, 40, 20. How cool is that? I love that. I love, 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 love that. If you guys want to get this specific piece of equipment right here, I do have a link down in the description below for the mods that I have edited. If you guys want to check those out for yourself, of course, they are only available on PC. I have not found a way to do it on console, and I do apologize. Let's drop this TMR in. Cows should be nice and happy. We also need to give them some straw while we're at it, so we're going to do that as well. Uh, let's bump around. Let's find... Uh, nope. This guy right here. How are we coming along, and are you missing anything? Because you're real good at missing stuff. Yeah, right here. We missed a little bit. It's okay. We'll take care of that. This isn't too bad. Uh, they're doing a good job. I mean, they're, they're at least getting it done. So that's a good part. So let's take a look. What kind of crops do we have everywhere? Well, we've got canola in 44. We have soybeans in 45. And legit, this is all grass. 6, 8, 28, 27, 26. Every single bit of this. All that's grass. But it's good, though. It's good. We wanted all that because I wanted to get a big... <laughs> you going to be able to do this, buddy? Oh, no. Oh, you don't even care. Look at that. He's just backing it up. He's like, I don't even care. All right. I'm going to have to do the rest of this myself because this poor worker... Is just gonna have a bad time. <laughs> Actually, you know what? We could hire a worker right here and maybe, just maybe, get the rest of this done ourselves. Oh, did he miss any? Nope, didn't miss any. Good to go. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna miss a little bit, but that's okay. That's all right. We'll miss a little bit. We'll come back and hit it ourselves. Well, guys, that is gonna be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you're not already, please subscribe. If you have any questions, drop those down in the comment section below. If you got any ideas for a future video that you would like to see, let me know. That being said, hope you have a great day, and we will see you later. Peace!